What up, YouTube? LTH coming at you with a video. 713 to Bio City. We up in here. So, wanted to talk a little bit more about the Browns versus Texans playoff preview. Yeah, I did make a preview, but man, I just want to put a little extra thoughts into it. You know, and yeah, Houston's going to have all their players in, including Noah Brown, Will Anderson, Robert Woods, and John Grenard. All their players except for Jerry Hughes, who is out with the injury. So that's the only one that, who won't be playing since he suffered an injury versus the Colts. And just like the Browns are going to have their key players in, such as Denzel Ward, which is huge. You know, nothing would please me more than to beat the Browns at their best. At their complete healthy best at that. So... I want to talk about some offensive keys of what Houston got to do and, and of course defensive keys because I know the Browns are going to do whatever they can to limp, make the Texans one dimensional. You know, starting with that D line with Miles Garrett and Sedarius Smith and, and of course Denzel Ward along with their defensive supporting cast. You know, and of course the Texans supporting cast got to do their thing too. You know, be consistent and create space you know one you know Stroud he's got to he's got to read the blitzes and you know pocket awareness got to be more extra effective you know got to be on the lookout for Miles Garrett because he's going to do whatever he can to get to the quarterback along with the rest of that D-line plus the Darius Smith and that linebackers and and, and along and Stroud got to make smart decisions because the Browns will force turnovers. And of course, you got to establish the running game. You know, with Devin Singletary, well, even Damian Pierce, if you have to. Because using two running backs for the running game will be nice. Hell, even use CJ Stroud's legs from time to time. But of course, Bobby Sloan got to open up that playbook severely wide you know to keep Jim Schwartz in that deep in his defense guessing because last thing that offense needs is to be predictable because that because that's going to lead to the Browns defense understanding what we're doing so got to open got to keep the defense guessing which is important let's say have them thinking we're going to pass up they're going to pass the ball but all the time they're going to run the ball for example so, and, and yeah, I do have some, it's going to be interesting to see how that offense stand up to that Browns defense with Stroud under center. So it's going to be a challenge for Stroud, a good test. Yes, they've beaten some good defenses, and yes, they lost to some tough defenses. So the Browns defense is going to be a good test for Stroud. So protect the ball, you got a chance. Sustained drive, score touchdowns, because field goal's not going to win it. Now, on the defensive side, you know, limit Joe Flacco in that, in that passing game. And apply pressure on Joe Flacco, because you can't let him get comfortable in that pocket. You know, make him uncomfortable, force him to some tough throws. Hell, even attempt to the ground if you have to, <laughs> which is not guaranteed, but because he is prone, he has been turning the ball over from time to time. So if you could force him to some turnovers, that would be great. Even a short, but it's going to be important for the Texans to capitalize into touchdowns. And of course, stop Amari Cooper and put Stingley on Amari Cooper all game. You know, got to apply pressure on Cooper. Don't let him, and don't give him no room. And also stop David Njoku, cause that dude is good. He even he even he also lit the Texans up last time they faced off against the Browns. So gotta stop Njoku. You know can't let him go off. You know safety help if needed. But yeah, stop Njoku and force other players to step up outside of Njoku and Cooper. And and of course you gotta stop the run. Do a better job of stopping the run because run defense got their ass kicked last time last week versus Indy. So gotta stop the run. That's important. 
you know, some play some smart, consistent football and you got a chance, you know, and don't let the game get out of hand. I mean, I know it was Christmas Eve when they lost, but it's a totally different ball game, totally different playoff game now, 0-0, zero, zero. you know. You know, two co Coach of the Year candidates going at it, Kevin Stefanski and D'Amico Ryans. I mean, I said it in my preview video, previous preview, you know. I mean, credit Stefanski despite four different quarterbacks, you know. But, you know, it's all about handling business and how bad do the Texans want it, you know. You want to beat the Browns, protect the football, limit the big plays through the air and the ground, and win the time of possession, force turnovers, and don't let Amari Cooper and the rest of the offensive supporting cast have a big day in. I also got to stop Njoku or else it's going to be a nightmare, you know. And I know the Browns are going to be favored, which I'm glad. You know, I'm glad everybody's counting the Texans out. <laughs> but it's going to be a good game. It's going to be a good-ass game. And I, and I wouldn't be surprised if this game – is close, ends at seven points or less. You know, just as long as Houston doesn't let the game get out of hand. So, special teams gotta be on point too. You know, special teams has been good, so as long as that's still effective, I ain't got no worries, but it's just the defense, you know, I'll be more worried about, honestly, compared to the offense. Cause, especially, I know the run defense didn't have a good game, last week, but pass defense has been times that they've given up explosive plays, especially with when it comes to play action. That's their soft spot right there. It's play action, opposing play action, so they got to figure out how to stop the play action so they can do that. Oh, and make the Browns one-dimensional. Oh, the opportunity is there. They just got to seize it and don't play careless. So the play action and the big 20 plus yard plays, you know, can't let Joe Flacco fall out on play action. So got to cut down on that play action. So, and be in a lot more discipline too. Cause like I mentioned, 11 penalties was unacceptable. You know, you can't have that and expect to win games, you know, in the postseason, man, man. I understand I'm not sure what the expectations are, but, hey, and nobody expected the Texans to be in the playoffs, but they here as AFC South champs. And, yeah, neutralized Miles Garrett and Sedarius Smith in that pass rush. Hey, offense can, can really be, can ball out too. Just, long, just don't commit any game-wrecking turnovers in. Because that'll kill the team's chances right there. You know, drive-killing penalties, pain in the ass, such as false starts. You know, just play mistake-free football because that's key. That's going to be a major key for the Texans. A major freaking key. <laughs> so, yeah, I just thought I'd come put some extra thoughts into this game. Extra thoughts. Because it doesn't get any better than this. I wish this game would have been a primetime game, but not to mention they've had a 330 game, which is all good. So, gotta, you know, CJ Stroud gotta have himself a big day. Nico and Dalton Schultz and the rest of the supporting guys got, cast gotta be efficient. Stingley, Stingley, Petrie, Nelson, you know. The entire defense got a ball out, especially the run defense, such as Sheldon Rankins, Will Anderson, John Grenard. Got a ball out. They got a ball out big time. They going to have any chance of going to Baltimore next week, next Sunday most likely, to take on Lamar Jackson in that week one rematch in Baltimore, which, could, which will represent Stroud versus Jackson part two. But first things first, Got to handle Joe Flacco and the Browns first 10 because 
don't believe in looking too far ahead anyway. So, yeah. Let's go Texans. Let's handle the Cleveland Browns successfully and move on to the division around. So, to my next video, LTH checking on the body here. Let's go Texans.